वेलकम बैक टू द गेट एस पेरेंट्स यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ साई जमला परपू इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर मेनली फोकस ऑन दी गेट एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल एज द इंडियन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड वी आर ट्राई टू सॉल्व सो मेनी क्वेश्चन विच दे विल बी आस्क ऑन द इसरो एज वेल एज द बार्क एंड फॉर द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू this gate aspirant channel is in best platform to crack any examination okay before move on to the subject first i have to start my subject with the basic signal and system subject in this youtube channel we are covering different stream of subjects totally 14 to 15 subjects for the electronic and communication engineering and uh, electronics and telecommunication engineering as well as the triple electrical and electrical engineering and as well as instrumentation engineering for different branches such as a civil and as well as the mechanical and a csc we have to cover the mathematics as well as the general aptitude in this youtube channel we have to try to focus to cover as many gate questions as well as the shortcut methods to solve any gate questions within seconds in this youtube channel we have tried to solve around 20 to 25 years past gate questions so let's get started to the basic subject first subject that will be the signals and systems this is subject for the electrical and communication engineering as well as the triple and the instrumentation engineering before move on to the what is meant by signal and what is meant by system first of all you have to see the syllabus for the signals and systems for the unit 1 in this class or in this lecture we have to focus only on the syllabus for the unit 1 the entire concept will be subdivided into the different concepts and the for important concepts i just want to put some star marks that if i want to put the star mark means you must have to concentrate that concept very well why because there will be a chance they have to be asked many more questions in that concept okay let's start with the first unit that will be the signals and systems first unit will be the basic classification of signals so in this basic classification of signals we have to find continuous time and as well as the discrete time signal what is meant by continuous time signal and what is meant by discrete time signal and next we have to move on to the analog and digital signals many of them are get confused between what is meant by analog signal and what is meant by discrete signal we have to briefly see the analog and digital signals and as well as the real and complex signals what is meant by real signal how we can use the real signal in the signal and systems and what is meant by complex signal and how we can use this complex signal in the signal and systems and next what is meant by deterministic signal and as well as the non deterministic signals okay this come under the basic classification of the signals part and mainly you have to remember for the continuous time signals that will be represented with x of t t be the time period this will be the independent variable and for the discrete time they will be represented with x of en this will be the main difference between the continuous time signals as well as the discrete time signals for continuous represented with x of t for discrete time signals we have to represent it with x of en and next move on to the next part this will be the so important part or the heart of the signal and systems that will be the basic signals how many signals will be there first you have to see 
this will be the so important for you are gate examination point of view or indian indian engineering services examination point of view first thing you have to see the impulse signal you know one thing without impulse signal there will be no engineering the whole impulse signal will rule throughout the engineering the communication as well as the triple screen that that will be plays a crucial role for this impulse signal next we have to see the what is meant by step signal uh, this step signal is like a, like in a staircase we have to in your uh, home there will be an uh, staircases will be there right you have to step down and move and up like that in this impulse signal and the unit impulse signal the important concept be the unit impulse signal as well as the unit step signal and the next move on to the next concept that will be the ramp signal okay what is meant by ramp signal this ramp signal we have to use mainly for the if you want to take the slope of a uh, simple curve we are mainly used uh, this ramp signal so if you want, there will be a relation between relationship between the ramp signal as well as a step signal if i move on to the subject you can understand what will be the relationship between the ramp signal and as well as the step signal and the next next concept to be the signal signal has to be used in a communication purpose that means in the mostly communication purpose for the analog communication purpose we have to take different type of signals which will be the phase difference of plus 90 degrees as well as the minus 90 degrees phase shift in that case we have to use this signal signal very well and as well as the important concept for the basic signals that will be the this sinusoidal signal sinusoidal signal means we have the two types of sinusoidal signal that will be the first to be the sin omega t and the next to be the cos omega t so how this sin omega t waveform will be represented and how this cos omega t waveform can be represented we can see briefly when we start the session and the next exponential signal the exponential signal means here you can observe in this exponential signal we have the two type of signals that will be the exponentially increasing signal as well as the exponentially decreasing signal so this exponential increasing and as well as the exponential decreasing signals and we have to see the waveforms for this exponential increasing signal and as well as the exponential decreasing signal and next we have to move on to the next concept that will be the sampling function what will be the sampling function for the basic signals and systems so this is sampling function we have to use in the in order to convert the analog signal to the digital signals how we can convert this analog signal to digital signal that means continuous time period and the continuous amplitude the discrete time period and the discrete amplitude we can see deliberately in the sampling function and the next we move on to the next concept that will be the rectangular function or the gate function so what will be the rectangular function and what will be the gate function so simply we have to observe the rectangular function just like in uh, oh, there will be symmetry will be present in the rectangular function for example if you take our body we have to make sure that we have to put some straight line here like that here you can observe how much the left part will be there that will be same as the right hand part that will be the simple gate function or the rectangular function so here you simply you can observe so this waveform is like this right if i stand here this will be my 
right side part as well as the left side part. You can observe both will be the same. This will be the waveform for the rectangular function or the gate function. And we are trying to solve some problems finally in this basic signals of a different type of signals. This basic signals, one second I am tell you, telling you. This basic signals will be the heart of our signal and systems. First thing we try to solve every signal in the graphical representation and as well as the picture, as well as the formula representation for the continuous and for discrete. For your gate examination point of view, both will be so important. Okay, and the next. We will see the next concept to be the standard discrete signals. Same here, the standard discrete signals, we try to cover all of those signals that will be come under this standard discrete signals. And the next important concept for your examination point of view, that will be the transformation of independent variables. In this transformation of independent variables, we have the three terms that will be the it will be so important for your examination point of view. The first will be the time shifting and as well as the time sale scaling and the next time reversal. So we have to solve so many questions based on these independent variables. First case we have tried to solve time shifting, time scaling and time reversal. We will get the some answer and next different cases we will be swap the uh, variables and we have to check the output we will get the same appropriate output for example if i take another case that will be the, if i want to solve first scaling and as well as the reversal and as well as the shifting so final output will be the same so most some of the students get the uh, confused uh, for first you have to take the uh, scaling, reversal and as well as the shifting. Some of the students get uh, some doubt as uh, they will get the different answers. I will get the short, tell you the shortcut also for that thing. So we have tried to solve so many questions on this shifting, scaling and reversal. So if you get to know how these things will be done, we have to next to move on to the transformation of impulse signal. This transformation of impulse signal will be the so important. So we in this transformation of impulse signal, we have tried to derive one formula. That formula will be important for your examination point of view. Okay. For that transformation of impulse outputs we will get to know what is meant by even signal and what is meant by odd signals. This concept is also important. And we will try to solve some problems based on this transformation of impulse signal. And we will just close that session. And next, we will start the bounded signals. This bounded signal is very very important for your signal system's point of view as well as the communications point of view. For example, if you want to see for bounded signals, what is meant by energy signal and what is meant by power signal and uh, we have to try to solve some neither energy nor power signals and uh, finally move on to the even conjugates and uh, we will try to solve some problems based on this bounded signals. This will be so important concepts. Most of the students, they can't get these concepts very well. So don't worry about that. And next, we will try to solve, move on to the next concept. That will be the properties. This properties will be the, one of the important concepts in the signaler systems for the gate examination point of view. Without properties, they can't be the question in the, gate examination or the Indian Engineering Services examination. If you get to know the properties very well, 
you have to solve the questions easily if they will give any tricky question also we can solve these questions very easily here in this properties we have the 5 to 6 units will be there for this signal and systems i want to solve or tell each and every property of those units that much of importance will play a crucial role in the signal and systems first thing that will be the static and dynamic systems so what will be the static system and what will be the dynamic system for this signal and systems that will be the properties and next that will be the invertible and as well as the non invertible signals what will happen and here you can observe for your gate examination point of view there will be the two important concepts will be there first will be the linear and the non linear and the next be the time variant and the time invariant systems so one thing you have to observe the whole world that will be running based on the nta systems linear time invariant systems that means if i want to take in an output at any different uh, instants of the time you have to get the same output it, it, the output can't be changed right in the this linear and non linear as well as the time variant and the time invariant system that will be lead to the next unit the second unit will be the this unit only okay next that will be the stable and the unstable system what is meant by stable system and what is meant by unstable system finally we have to end our session of this properties with the causal and as well as the non causal signals and for the first unit this was the whole syllabus and just try to mainly focus on these things things and uh, and finally i just want to solve gate questions from the past 20 years and as well as the ies and uh, for the isro and as well as the bark this was the first unit syllabus for the signal and systems in the next class we will try to see what will be the important textbooks for the this signal and systems and after that we will start our basic class that will be the what is meant by signal and what is meant by system